Hey guys, and welcome to the next part of our number theory chapter. So it's the next chapter in the official Excel textbook, and this chapter um, looks at divisibility tests for numbers. So divisibility tests, this might sound a bit sad uh, if, you, if you don't really love maths, um, but it's the party trick of number theory. But if you're doing FP2, I'm going to guess that you'd rather do quite like maths. But anyway, let's move on. So let's look at some introductory rules. So an integer is divisible by 2 if the last digit is even, so basically the number is even. An even number is divisible by 2. An integer is divisible by 5 if and only if the last digit is 5 or 0, so that's for divisibility by 5. And then 10 if and only if its last digit is 0. And then what we're shown here at the very end is that you can prove these results using modular arithmetic like it shows here. You know, it shows that a number m with the decimal digits an, an minus 1, an minus 2 can be written as, you know, we're decomposing the number. So it gives you the example here, 75 and 35 can be rewritten like this. But that's just, um, you know, just a general rule for the idea of what's going on. So let's look at some other rules. So these are the tricky rules, and you have to be able to show, uh, understand the rules for divisibility by 3, 4, 6, 9, and 11. So quite a few in total. For 3, you have to check whether the sum of the digits is divisible by 3. 4. So for 4, nice and easy, you check the last two digits of the number. If if they're not divisible by 4, then the number is not divisible by 4. 6 has to be divisible by both 2 and 3. So the number has to be even, and then the rule for 3 also has to apply. If that doesn't, or it's not even, then it's not divisible by 6. 9. Uh, a lot of people already know 9, is that the sum of the digits must be divisible by 9 again. So if you add up all the digits, if the number isn't divisible by 9, then that number is not divisible by 9 itself. And 11, what you have to do is alternate the sum of the digits. So they give it here as an example. If you've got the digits A, B, C, D, E, and so on, what you do is you start with positive A minus B plus C minus D plus E, and so on. You know, if they, the calculation comes out as being divisible by 11, then the number itself is divisible by 11. So then the rules, but it's easier with a demonstration. So let's have a look at a couple of uh, examples. So let's have a go. So if we look at the first one, 7,146, so now we're divisibility by 9, we add up the, di the digits and check if they are divisible by 9 themselves. So 7 plus 1 is 8, plus 4 is 12, plus 6 gives us 18. So 18 is divisible by 9, because 9 times 2 is 18, so therefore 9 does divide 7,146. So 9 is quite a nice one, uh, it's a nice easy one, you know, just got to remember add up the digits. B, so for divisibility of 6, it must divide by 3 and 2. So just got to remember that one, that little rule there. Well, 5,038 is even, so 2 does divide it. So we don't need to worry about division by 2, we can show that straight away. 3, remember, very similar to 9, we just got to add up the digits. So if you add them all up, you get 24. Does 3 divide 24? Yeah, of course it does. 8 times 3 gives us 24, so 6 does divide 5,038. So we've shown both rules individually there. The next two, so for divisibility by 4, you check the last two digits. So is 14 divisible by 4? Well, no, because 4, 8, 12, 16 were too big. We, it's not divisible by 4, so 4 doesn't divide the number. So nice, easy. And then for the last one, divisibility by 11, remember we alternate the digits. So you start with the first digit as being positive, and then subtract, plus, subtract, plus. So 8 minus 1 plus 3 minus 7 plus 4 minus 7. Well, that's equal to 0. But remember, 0 does divide 11. So 11 does divide 813,747. So them are the general rules. Now, it just takes a bit of practice and just remembering the rules, um, whether it's the night before, you just memorize them, or you just, you know, just learn them off by heart. It's whichever approach is easier. They're nothing too intense, and generally as an exam question, there are only ever two marks. It's just to help you, you know, start off the exam. They're always a nice introduction to the exam, and they, generally speaking, are the first part of the exam. So let's have a look at a couple of exam questions. So this was taken off the, um, the spec paper. This was the AS paper. It was on this one. And you have to use a suitable algorithm, and without performing any division, determine whether 23,738 is divisible by 11. So they always say this, use a suitable algorithm. So this just means use the rules that you know, and without performing any division. So they don't want you to put this in on your calculator and get an integer. It's 
we're not actually showing it with an algorithm but this is what they want they want you to show the algorithm so divisibility by 11 if you've not already had a go guys be sure to pause the video have a quick go and then come back to it so let's have a look at doing this if we're doing it together so we have to remember for divisibility by 11 we alternate the digits so we're going to start with positive 2 minus 3 plus 7 minus 3 plus 8 so if we do that what we get is 11 well is 11 divisible by 11 yeah of course it is 11 times 1 is 11 so 11 does divide 11 so therefore 11 must divide our number 23738 so you have to show all these lines of working guys make sure you show all lines of working that'll get you both of your marks so there are always two mark questions nothing too intense it's just remembering the rules um so a bit of a memory test really for the divis divisibility rules um that's a bit of a mouthful i can't say it too much um and again we'll have a look at another exam question without performing any division explain why 8184 is divisible by six so we've already been told it's divisible by six so let's do the two rules for six so first off is our number even well 8184 yeah of course it's even that's an even number so it's divisible by two so like we said here it needs to be divisible by three and two but we've already said it's even so two does divide 8184 what about three so if we add up the digits eight plus one plus eight plus four well that gives us 21 so does three divide 21 yeah of course it does seven times three is 21 using the definition of div divisibility so therefore six does divide 8184 so there we have it guys a couple of exam questions a few examples other than that though it's a very brief chapter there's not too much to it so what i'd recommend is have a look at some of the examples in the textbook have got a couple of the visibility rules but other than that there's nothing else really to it i hope that's okay if you have any questions guys be sure to leave them below and be sure to subscribe if you're after more further math content i'm doing all the further math topics um, apart from mechanics over the next few months so be sure to check them out as well